hoping for some gorgeous watercolor effect. Look at that. I'm gonna just directly go with some other color. Oh, there we go. I love that. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my... <laughs> no. Hannah. We shall have to wait. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and I'm delighted I can welcome you in this beautiful Sunday, sunny Sunday in Ireland and I have something exciting, something special, something different, something totally fabulous for you today. Uh, we are gonna break a blank page again but we're gonna do some watercolors, can you believe it? Uh, we've done canvas, we've done blank page, but watercolor? I think we should do that as well. Uh, beginning of this year started beautifully. We are on the ro ro we are rocking it, we are on the go, uh, making gorgeous projects. So today is gonna be no different. Uh, thanks Lucas, he just turned off that toy. <laughs> Let me show you what we're gonna do today. We're not gonna use any brushes, believe or not. We are be painting we will be painting with those lids. Actually, you can call them circles, more or less. Um, so yes, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna use quite a lot, a generous amount of water. Also paints, uh, cheap paints, cheap set now. You can get them, uh, I think it's called Artist Loft in UK. You can get them Amazon, you can get them many, many other brands having exactly the same layout and they're all fantastic. Good morning with coffee sip of coffee is always good to start your day. Um, so what we're gonna do? Why it's so exciting? Well because I'm gonna show you this cool technique and let me start by spraying my paints and I'm saying generous amount. We also will need not only our all kinds of lids and I'm using the watercolor that I'm using, what, let me show you. This one is from uh, The Works and this one is called, it's uh, 300GG, uh, G, whatever, it's thick and it's cold press. I think it's good, that's what I was told and it seems to be good <laughs> indeed. And I have this foil as well that I will, I will be using because I have this idea of dripping paints onto my surface, making it completely abstract with my page and um, I'll, well, let's just do it, let's just see. So as you can see, I have a lot of water here, a lot. Let's see and let's experiment. So I'm gonna just flip it around. I could use some more water, I think. Mm-hmm. You're gonna say to me, oh, what a waste of pigment. No, it's an experiment. It's fun. It's... Those are not super duperly expensive paints. So just go for it, guys, and just enjoy it. I'm sorry, family noises in the morning. <laughs> How the beautiful rainbowish effect is here. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now, my next step is... My next step is to have a little bit of water on top of my watercolor paper and that's where the magic starts and I'm gonna just place this and play a little bit, play around hoping for some gorgeous watercolor effect indeed, some gorgeous watercolor background. What we're gonna have I've no clue but <laughs> woohoo look at that. Now take this quickly as in kind of quickly, uh, put it away, we won't need this as now, I'm going to put it on the floor because now when this is still wet we need to start placing our circles on top of our paintings, our background, okay. Oops, mm-hmm. However you wish, wherever you wish your composition to be, that's where you put it. If you wish this to be... Oh! See, it's already happening. It's already happening, guys! I'm gonna move this and just hope for this, those lids to go here. And now, actually, you can use your same sh uh, sheet of... I'm gonna spray some water on top of that. 
and you can use that to lay there some color or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my paint <laughs> why it's so only why it's only orange <laughs> I'm gonna just directly go with some other color oh there we go maybe some green as well <clears throat> I'm gonna concentrate on green I know it looks messy and all don't worry it looks beautiful when it's done I promise you I will I, I, I promise you now it's all over the place but that's fine as well no I love that so I'm basically spraying directly to my palette and voila now the difficultish kind of part is to slowly start paint uh, drying it so Lucas is yet again uh, peeling potatoes and <laughs> carrots so the noises from the kitchen is my cooking husband okay now those will move I'm gonna hold it don't burn yourself uh, I'm gonna hold it a little bit yeah it's moving because it's a little bit up do you know what it's fine if it moves there fine let's let's be next to the wooden uh, the paper one I'm gonna fast forward that guys time to reveal a little bit but I was thinking as well that um, this doesn't have to be our only layer but actually it can we can do it uh, you know once again because I was thinking we could oh look at that isn't it gorgeous we could actually uh, make one more layer of circles or leave it as it is I don't know I don't know if we could experiment but do you know what even like this oh I think we could dry this a little bit maybe more I think we could even leave it like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely loving that now. And we are painting, as you can tell, <laughs> without brushes, really. I'm thinking since I loved the metal one, maybe this will work equally beautiful. I don't know. I'm gonna try and put the metal one here and maybe the small ones yet again, if they would, oh. <laughs> that even does it itself um, I think so I think this is gorgeous here so what I'm gonna do is I will just grab some more oops grab some more water and maybe drip in some reds here okay oh there we go something like that and same for here what if I be careful with the second layer because sometimes we can overdo it or we can just destroy the look that we oops that we had so be careful with that okay I'm gonna bring this back I don't want this to go too near my stuff to my other circle and I'm thinking to maybe just add a touch of dark here the edge so we're pouring the paint which is I think it's awesome totally awesome now let's see if I can dry it away from this circle let's reveal what happens there oh that's gorgeous I love that beautiful beautiful and that's repeated so oh, I forgot about this one that's okay let's dry this now I'm thinking oops I'm thinking that maybe I could get rid of a little bit of paint here and also take away this paint so it would be kind of brighter around it but really both would be nice with the dark edges that dark or without it it's no difference but I'm just thinking to take away the excess just a little bit okay let's try that now 
my page is drying and I'm gonna collect those <laughs> watercolor uh, drip drips here from from my desk now there is plenty of you new viewers so if any of you feel that the baby in the background is kind of annoying or you know that it's not enough professional I'm sorry that's how I kind of record uh, when the house is in the background my family is in the background my Lucas that says nothing <laughs> uh, that's how we do it you know I we don't have a massive house that we can we have kitchen next to me so you know that's that's how we operate so I'm really sorry if you felt like this is you know very giving you headache or something uh, many of you loves it and thank you for for always reminding me that you actually miss the stage of having babies around and that many of you passed that stage as well and it's so gorgeous to be back and so nice and so kind and just special to be back to those memories thanks to hearing Hannah in the background yes <laughs> as you can hear her now and um, so yes but just in case if you are you know if you are um, if you think it's not great, I'm sorry. Oh, that's her trying to get to me. I'm gonna clean the desk now and come back to you. I'm not too sure where I finished because I went to put Hannah to bed. <laughs> the page is dry. It's kind of, kind of uneven, but you know I don't mind. You can put it under some heavy books if you wish. And my next step will be to uh, color it in nicely but I have to do it in a second because someone is at the door. Emily came back home because she had a sleepover with her best friend in her best friend's house so yes we had a coffee with the mom and now I'm thinking to I'm adding gelatos white gelatos to kind of highlight a little bit uh, my texture here to highlight some kind of shadowing light they, it looks like they are bubbles isn't it now they are very chalky those paints so the pigment is kind of falling apart a little bit but honestly I don't mind that so I think it's even nice because the pigment now it's mixing up with this white and it's picking up together I think it's lovely I really do bubbles is something that I totally love totally love playing with making bubbles circles I used to do a lot of journal pages with bubbles you may feel like checking them if you wish now I think for bigger white what I'm gonna do just a little 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 bit I'm gonna grab some white acrylics <clears throat> mm -hmm. and I will just add there we go just a little bit because white acrylic is not going to react the same way as gelatos so I love that now mm -hmm. so we have one side brighter and I'm going to do the darker one on the other side so to enchase the color the light happening mm -hmm. As you can imagine, Emily had a sleepover in friend's house and they didn't sleep for till very late. <laughs> so she came she came tired and sleepy and all, but so happy and so excited. So that's the main thing. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of black now just to play with my shadows here. Super. Maybe a little less here. Mm-hmm. I love that now. A little bit here. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, even without finishing touches, without those sh this shadowing thing, it, it looked beautiful as well. So if you don't feel like finishing up this, that's perfectly fine. Do whatever feels good to you guys do whatever makes you feel good and happy about the project now I'm gonna enchase this bubble here uh -huh. <coughs> now. <laughs> I like that <laughs> okay so my black is nice I like that and I'm gonna go back a little bit more with my white I love that 
I really do love that. I think we can nearly call it finished. We will do some white splashes. Splashes. How about that? I think it would be lovely to do some white splashes. So what I'm going to do is I will grab my toothbrush and make some splashes. Mm -hmm. One more because... One more because... Now, let me put some um, let me put some white in here. Oops, that's too much. That's okay. We need some water mm -hmm, to play around. So I am gonna make it make sure that this one is nice and creamy, nice and creamy. Now I think I think this could be a bit more. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Where's my toothbrush? Now let's see. I think we need a little more water. Now if you don't have white acrylic, you can use try to do same thing, same kind of um, lovely texture. I think with just uh, with gesso or with gelatos. Anything really would work. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> Love that. Now I'll see if I can do something like that. Beautiful. I think that's actually enough and I need some sticker maybe for some title. I was thinking that I'm gonna grab my Posca pen, my favorite white Posca pen that I'm using for the last years and this is one my go-to pro uh, product as well and I love it for splashes actually. Look, they are very white. That's what I absolutely love about Posca. Very white as you can see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do like this, oops, kind of, it's gonna be more like a, a, bo a ball, not ball, like, um, oops, like a glassy, Ooh, like a glassy, glassy thing, more, okay. I'm loving this and now I'm thinking since I have some pigment left there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just like in all times <laughs> I'm gonna do some white uh, marks some kind of little white circles and this particular cup is from sprays actually but again feel free to use whatever you have no, I'm thinking I have that here as well for the gesso, so I, I can enchase that color here even more. Mm -hmm. Now, that's gorgeous, so that is gorgeous, so very dimensional, don't you think? Dimensional bubbles, I love them very much, and you have to try it for yourself, because it is really nice and easy technique. How about making some little dots? around my bubbles. Why is what do you think? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I love the little detail from time to time being added. I like that. <clears throat> I think this te technique can be used easily for adults and kids. Both would enjoy that, I think. <clears throat> nice. Nice. I hope you are making some paintings with me. <laughs> okay, time to add some titles. And I'm thinking about my stickers, my favorite stickers, Inspire. I love that very much. Transparent stickers, gorgeous for all kinds of art journaling. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Mm, I should try that first, probably. I should. And I will, two seconds. <laughs> I dried that, more or less. <laughs> more or less. And I'm gonna attach my sticker there. I think. Oh, yes. Now, help yourself with this tool. Um, and it will kind of get rid of this um, air from underneath it and it doesn't look like there is many lines so I love that inspire what else blank page of course we had a blank watercolor page blank page maybe here now if you uh, don't know my stickers which I don't believe because most of you already have them uh, thank you for purchasing my stickers but they are in my online store if you wish to have a look it's in the Etsy store, the link is at the end of this video or under the video in the description box so you can have a look. Uh, the, there's a set of four or you can buy it individually if you wish for some, some uh, more. Create Inspire Dream No, Creative Madness, Painted Silence. I think Creative Message is just perfect to this now. Um, I have to say I do use them a lot, not because they are mine, but because they are amazing. Let's let me be honest with you here. I just love them. Perfect for beautiful, <clears throat> for beautiful uh, titles. So if you look for Maremi Small Art, the same name as my my YouTube channel, Etsy Story will find me. Wow. I, I still feel we could add tiny butterfly or something but on the other hand I don't really want to overdo it anymore because it's already so gorgeous and beautiful um, I think we can call this finished and done and dusted I love it beautiful technique so different uh, and such a different unexpected effect you may have because the color choice Truthfully, I had no um, kind of control over the colors because really I was running down with the whole palette. I mean the whole palette. And again, please don't be stressed over using so much water and pigment down because there's still plenty, not much have been used actually really in this technique. So guys, thank you so much. I really hope this was inspirational and if it was, as always, I would love you to share this video with your friends on your social media. That would be amazing. So more people can see this project and make it and do it and enjoy it. So please, thank you. Uh, if you could, it would be amazing. Um, and of course, subscribe button and put this... No, there's this little bell button next to subscribe. So click that because otherwise um, you may mi be missing all my videos. And if you click that, you will see all of them because uh, YouTube will notify you. So that's super important. What else? Well, it's Sunday afternoon now. <laughs> Time for lunch. But in the but before lunch, I'm going to upload that straight away so you can see it and enjoy it. Thank you so much, as always, for keeping me company. And I hope it was inspirational enough for you to break a watercolor blank page and paint th those bubbles. So thank you so much. I love you loads and talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.